Hey, uh, a few weeks ago, I mentioned the story uh, of a singer that I had seen on uh, America's Got Talent. Her name is Nightbird. Uh, and our title for that day was when she said, you can't wait until life isn't hard anymore to be happy. And we kind of dug into that a little bit about how we could apply that to our own lives. And I told you I didn't hear the story. You know, sometimes they'll give a little uh, snapshot of the person's life before they perform. And I had not seen hers. Um, but then I, in weeks since she's performed, uh, I've seen many, many articles and a lot of things and dug into her story. I want to go a little further into her story today. Again, her, her real name, I believe, is Jane. Uh, and the story was that she uh, now has cancer for the third time. It was just a really inspiring story. Uh, one of the things that caught my attention uh, when she was there is, you know how sometimes if it's a younger person or somebody that have parents or siblings or somebody on the side of the stage cheering for them or, or whatever, well, she was there by herself, which I thought was rather rather curious. Uh, but if you read the rest of her story, when I posted the link in our title today, you can go and read a couple, a couple different versions of it. Uh, but as she goes out onto the stage, uh, you know, they ask her her story. You can tell when it's going to be a person that goes through when they spend a lot of time telling their story. Um, so Simon asks her if she was okay now, referring to her health, finding out that she had cancer for the third time. And she says, the last time I checked, I had some cancer in my lungs, my spine, and my liver. And, you know, there's kind of this gasp from the audience and how he goes, so you're not okay. Uh, and she, her response is not in every way, no. And which I thought was just an incredibly wise response, because um, how else can you respond? Um, and of course, they were talking about her cancer, um, but I wanted to go and apply that to the rest of us as well. Um, one of the articles I read said the, uh, the tells us the meaning behind her stage name, Nightbird, and she says this: the name came about before she was diagnosed with stage 3 cancer after having a dream about birds singing in the darkness. When she woke from her dream, she saw and heard the birds singing outside her window. And she says, I want to be the bird that sings in anticipation of the good things that I trust are coming. Uh, on the show, she sang a song, I think I mentioned this last time, called It's Okay, and it, that, that's basically the thrust of it. And to know her story, it's important to understand how she can sing It's Okay in the midst of the third time of cancer, and then the whole rest of her story that you can read. Um, nevertheless, she got the golden buzzer from Simon. Uh, another thing that she said was it's important that everyone knows, I think this was in the article, not on the show, it's important that everyone knows I'm so much more than the bad things that happened to me. Uh, and I want to close for us today a little bit. It says, so that you know that these things are not just true for her. Um, you are also not okay. I am also not okay. Um, but we're also more than the things which have happened to us. Um, we are all uh, cursed with sin and our own desires. And that just is a uh, puts us behind the eight ball from the beginning. Uh, but believe me when I say this, I'm going to read you some verses in Romans chapter 5. Um, when I say God wants to do something amazing and incredible in your life. Let me read you what Romans 5 says. This is from the message, chapter 5. Uh, some of you will recognize this. Um, about God doing something in your life. Christ arrives right on time to make this happen. He didn't and doesn't wait for us to get ready. Because we're so much more than the things that happen to us. He presented himself for this sacrificial death when we were far too weak and rebellious to do anything to get ourselves ready. And even if we hadn't been so weak, we wouldn't have known what to do anyway. We can understand someone dying for a person worth dying for. And we can understand how someone good and noble could inspire us to selfless sacrifice. But God put his love on the line for us by offering his son in sacrificial death while we were of no use whatever to him. Now that we are set right with God by means of this sacrificial death, there is no longer a question of being at odds with God in any way. If, when we were at our worst, we were put on friendly terms with God by the sacrificial death of His Son, now that we're at our best, just think of how our lives will expand and deepen by means of His resurrection life. Now that we have actually received this amazing friendship with God, we are no longer content to simply say it in plodding prose, we sing and shout our praises to God through Jesus the Messiah. So if that's you out there today, be reminded that you are worth more in the eyes of God than the circumstances that have happened to you, and God has some, some, some amazing things planned for you. 
Uh, and that's the word for today. Um, as always, uh, appreciate your comments, like, share, pass it along. Remind you that we're taking donations for our back to school event here at New Horizons. And uh, hope to see you soon. Have a great day.